Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of fire sign energy. Please take what resonates and leave what does not. Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, help me to give a clear and accurate reading for fire sign energies. If you'd like to make any donations towards my channel, you can find the link in the description section. If you'd like a membership, you can find that in the join section of the page. And if you would like to help support this channel by getting a super thanks, that'd be much appreciated. You can find that in the thanks section of the page. All right. I scurry the crystal for you today, and the image I saw within the crystal for you today, fire sign energies, was a gypsy caravan. And it was in the middle of the woods, and it didn't have the horses pulling it. And instead of where the horses should be, it had a... Now, bear with me, because I'm trying to explain what I saw, and I don't know much about um, uh, looms or weaving. So it was like what you make a blanket on, so it was like it was like very stiff and like planted in the ground and it was a blanket, you know, but it was like on some type of, uh, like it was like attached to the caravan and somehow the ground. So like on a loom or it was being, it's like something you put on when you weave a blanket. Um, but tapestry or blankets or weaving, it all symbolizes destiny. So, how I interpret this, you know, with the caravan, you know, perhaps you've traveled a lot and, you know, or perhaps you're, you know, even your ancestry, your bloodline has traveled a lot. And the fact that the horses were not at attached to the caravan, you know, perhaps now you have found your home, you have found your, you know, you're rooted. And with that loom being there or the, the weaving of the blanket, you know, symbolizes, you know, destiny. So it's your destiny to be rooted where you're at at this time, you know, so beautiful energy there. All right, let's get into your reading. The first card to come out for you today is the star card. So with the star card being here, this is wish fulfillment, dreams coming true, being spiritually connected to God. You know, so beautiful energy there. That's also being in the spotlight recognition. Next card out for you is the queen of cups. So with the queen of cups being here, you know, you're very emotional. This is someone that's very sensitive. You wear your heart on your sleeve. This is a very gentle uh, motherly energy here that you are in right now. Next card out is the Five of Cups. So with the Five of Cups being here, you could have been sad over something. There was a spilt cup here. Um, with the Five of Cups, you were mourning something. So, you know, perhaps you felt, you know, sadness about some type of situation that was very heartbreaking for you. Next card out for you is the Ace of Cups. But this is happiness, joy, abundance, overflowing. So I see happiness coming your way. Next card out for you is the Strength card. So with the strength card being here, I feel like, you know, you've had to have a lot of strength to deal with some type of situation or multiple situations. Um, I feel like you've had to hold a lot of courage and, you know, hold on to, you know, all the strength you can to deal with some type of difficult situations here. And I feel like, you know, God, um, you know, puts you in the, um, when, you know, God puts you in the situations where he knows that you can handle it, you know, so even though it might not seem like I'm trying to word this properly, like even though it might seem like it was overwhelming and like you could not handle it, you know, God made sure that he gave you enough strength in order to deal with it, you know, so he always made sure you were well equipped for whatever situation you were in is the energy I'm picking up here. Um, the next card out for you is judgment so i feel like god has you know weighed the scales here and god saw all the things you have gone through and you know like i said he's given you strength to deal with everything you've ever been through and you know god is going to be giving you lots of blessings and good karma is what i'm seeing here i feel like god saw your heart and he sees you know all the things that you have done all the good deeds you have done next card out for you is queen of coins so this is earth energy here this is, you know, being very a grounded energy is what I'm seeing right here. Um, then this symbolizes, you know, being very financially stable. Uh, this could be, you know, being financially taken care of or financially independent, you know, but regardless, I do see, you know, increase of financial abundance for you. Next card out for you was Yarrow Boundaries. So the medicinal benefit of yarrow is it can, you know, help stop bleeding on wounds very quickly. So, you know, that's a handy knowledge, you know, to know. And the boundaries here is, you know, this symbolizes somewhat like an Aries energy. This is like a wounded warrior energy. And it's letting you know here that you have a gift of healing. You have a gift that 
is, you know, very much meant to be like a healer energy. So you could be very good with herbs. Um, this symbolizes, you know, even energetically, energetically, you know, healing people, you know, you're somehow connected with energy. Um, but whatever the case may be, this is a healing energy that you have. And it also is very much connected to psychic abilities, being an empath, being very, you know, connected to the spiritual realms. But it's letting you know here with boundaries to, you know, recharge yourself, you know, because it could, you know, drain you, you know, even Jesus himself took a break um, whenever he got overwhelmed you know, with all those crowds, you know, constantly, you know, um, you know, draining him of his energy, he went on his, uh, the boat and he went onto the other side, you know, to get a break for a moment, to recharge, to pray to God, to meditate. So, you know, this card is letting you know to do the same, to recharge your energy and, you know, that you could also pick up on other people's emotions, you know, so if you're an empath or, you know, very much connected, you know, spiritually, you could pick up on other people's emotions and then you not know which emotion is yours. So, for example, if someone is, you know, especially if you're very close to someone and you feel their anxiety, you feel their stress, you could pick up on that and you start feeling that as well. Um, it's letting you know here, you know, to have boundaries, you know, take time to meditate, to recharge, you know, so that you're not depleted of all your energy so that you have the uh, capacity to be able to be, you know, a healer and not completely, you know, um, worn out you know, before you can, you know, uh, help anyone. Cause you know, you can make yourself sick by, you know, not recharging is what this energy is saying here. Next card out for you is new spirit moon. So with this new spirit moon hope. So this card is letting you know here that you have lots to, you know, lots of blessings coming your way here with the new spirit moon hope. It's letting you know here to, you know, Pray to God, ask Jesus, you know, in his name, and you will receive lots of blessings. So whatever you're hoping for, whatever you're praying for, you know, asking you shall receive energy, you know, just like it kind of reminds me of the star card here. We are going to be having, you know, your wish fulfillment, you know, so all this beautiful energy coming towards you, uh, fire sign energies. If this resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.